Willow uh, accepts for Rampage. And then Stokely starts getting pissed off, and he's yelling about the Young Bucks, and suddenly a phone shows up, and the message from the Young Bucks is that Stokely and Statlin are banned from ringside. If they show up, Willow is stripped of the title. And Stokely flips out, and he says, and I quote, Aside from my own actions, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> How has no one ever used that line before? Yeah. I was dying. Claudio Castagnoli and Brian Cage, meat match. Pretty good match. Yeah. I mean, this was, match. this was you know, I, I don't want to say this is a criticism because I really liked it, but you know when people go, all AEW does is book bangers? It's like, there was no reason for this match whatsoever. It had nothing to do with anything in storyline. There was no angle before or after. It so? was just, this is going to be your banger for the evening. And it was. It so was a what? big, mean guy match. I what said, I'm not complaining. I'm just it saying. Wasn't. People say that, and this was one of them. Well, that's the truth. There was no storyline build for this, and so what? They had a fun match. They beat the hell out of each other. All sorts I mean, there of crazy was, power moves. I mean, the, the rest of the matches had, had well, Samoa Joe and Isaiah had no story either. You know, yeah, then, it, was just, it was just a match to get Joe over for some reason, and here this is a match to get Claudio over for some reason. I don't know exactly what yet, but um I think it was, was just giving him a win back after he did the job on... Uh, Collision. Yeah, just to, to, to strictly yeah. swerve. Yeah, well, I mean, Cage did a good job here. Rocky did a promo and said he's going to go after a really tough guy, Kyle O'Reilly. Wants him tonight on Rampage. May the best man win. He's out of the best friends. He's just doing it for himself now. He, he wants, wants to win a, a title in AEW. He, he wants a title in AEW because uh, he's had him in New Japan and he's had him in CMLL and other places, but uh, never in AEW. Serena Deeb and Mariah May. So another one. Not a lot of heat early. Kind of picked up a little bit there at the end. Good match. And uh, at the yeah, end, yeah, it wasn't wasn't a lot of heat, but very well, very well wrestled. Mariah ends up uh, getting stuck in a half crab, and Tony's freaking out on the outside, and so she throws in the towel, and so Serena Deeb, because Tony threw in the towel, is getting a title match at Double or Nothing, yeah. and uh, this to me clearly was billed towards the breakup of Tony oh, and Mariah. Well, of course, of course. Tony of course. does not want to face Mariah, and so that's why she threw in the towel, even though it was under the guise of saving Mariah May. Mm. Renee asked Adam if he's okay, and Adam's kind of all weird. Kyle O'Reilly shows up, says if he needs help against the House of Black, he'd, be, he'd have his back. And so Adam thanks him, but then uh, notes Kyle is staring a hole in his title. And he says, uh, eyes up here. Good luck tonight. So it looks like that's going to be a title match down the road. Kyle mm -hmm. and Adam. So then Kenny Omega shows up. It's the best thing on the show. Gets a gigantic reaction. Fans are going nuts. Welcome home. And he says, I'm not good about talking about this injury. Sickness stuff. Sicknesses, yeah. A few months ago, he says, I was diagnosed with diverticulitis. Spent 10 days in the hospital. Doctors told me, you're one of the lucky ones, 24 hours away from dying. He said, okay, well, that's cool. Patch me up. I'm going to go back to dynamite. And they said, well, it's not quite that simple. We need to open you up and get what is in you out of you. And if we cut you open now, we have to flay you open. You'll need a colostomy bag for six months, 12 months, maybe the rest of your life. And he said, well, what if I don't? And they said, well, if you don't, your stomach is a ticking time bomb. It's going to be like that for the rest of your life. Someday you're going to end up in the hospital anyway. You're going to need the surgery anyway. And one bad shot to the stomach can kill you. And as soon as they said that, it was like, I don't know where this is going. He's getting a bad shot to the stomach for sure, yeah. So he says, I, I couldn't lie. I couldn't, I couldn't watch. I had to stop watching the show. And then finally I turned it on again for Dynasty. And I saw Swerve make history and Osprey and Danielson the best match. I'd, one of the best matches I ever saw. And he said, my hands got shaken again, and I heard you guys chanting my name, and it made me realize that handshaking was withdrawal. And he says, I made a promise to myself and all the fans. This is not over until I exhaust every option. If there's a 1% chance, bag or no bag, you guys are not done with Kenny Omega yet. This was a super promo. It was an amazing promo. It really was. I mean, it's all true. Well, I would yeah. say probably 95% true. I mean, pretty much, you know, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty but, sure one shot of the stomach isn't going to kill him if they let him do this angle. 
Well, and if it obviously was, obviously not. If it was, then the angle was pretty was pretty foolish, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was that was um, that was probably you know exaggerated. But I mean, all of the stuff as far as the surgery and everything like that, and the twenty four hours from death. I mean, that's all true. Yes. So then he calls out Matthew and and Nicholas, uh, and he says, you know, you guys are EVPs. You can't be fired. But guess what? I am also an EVP. So out comes Okada. Crowd chants, "Holy shit!" They got to stare down. Kenny says, give me a couple of months. Let's let's settle this in an AEW ring. And Okada says, I'm sorry, Kenny. I am the best bout machine now. And Jack Perry jumps Kenny from behind. Okada gets a chair. Security hits the ring. Jack is laying him out with chairs. And all of a sudden, Kenny Omega, in a fucking suit, like a three-piece suit. He just a snapdragon suit place. makes a comeback where for like... 15 seconds he looked like still the best wrestler on the earth and then jack waffles him in the stomach with the steel chair and the bucks and okada they are bucks hit the ring they tell okada and jack to relax kenny starts crawling to his feet of course right into the evp trigger position they hit him with the evp trigger ftr hits the ring to make the save kenny's grabbing his stomach this man this, this angle was awesome it was a great this angle. This was yeah. a great, great, great angle. Yeah, I'll tell you, I, I, you know, I mean, this is very, very minor, but um, I would have thrown Osprey in there for the save along with FTR, just because you get that little, you know, I mean, it just gets Osprey into that program because I mean, I know right now he's with Roderick Strong, and I think that's almost like. I don't know. You can do more than that. You know, it kind of almost downgrades him. And I think that if he was involved in this angle, it would have upgraded him. Interesting, no Osprey and no Mercedes on the show. That's right, yeah. So overall, I thought it was a really good dynamite. A lot of good wrestling. I thought that uh, they kind of went easy on the angles in the middle of the show. But they had the one show-long angle that was great. They continued that angle um, afterwards. Where Oh, yeah, um, take us to Rampage. Yeah, so um, where were they? They, they, um, uh, where were we? Were, okay, so they were all backstage, and um, the um, Omega was on a stretcher. They were taking him to the ambulance, and then um, Matt Matt Jackson um, knocked him off the stretcher, and then they um, Young Bucks. And Okada and Jack Perry all beat up FTR. And um, actually, wasn't in that order. They beat up FTR, and then they dumped, Matt dumped Kenny off the stretcher, and Kenny was selling really, really big. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.